I'm a farmer. I'm doing papao, uh, citrus, and uh, bananas. We have a problem with the, the attack of uh, mealybugs, which uh, is becoming a menace to production of uh, papayas. Currently, we are using chemicals. Between seven days and 14 days, I must spray. And actually, the insects that we are using are damn expensive. The mealybugs are, are taking about a half of what I'm supposed to get. So we are sharing 50-50. I fight them, but they are also fighting back. The papaya mealbug is an invasive pest. It's native to Mexico and is spread to Africa in the early 2000s. It was first reported in Kenya in the year 2016. Kuna miaka kama mitatu mine iliyopita mimi nilikuwa sina raha kwa sababu hata nakumbuka yule ofisa aliyetembelea mara ya kwanza aliwahi kupata mipapa isiyopungua kama 30 ambayo ililiwa mpaka ikabakia mti peke yake kudhibiti kwangu nilijaribu kuna dawa ambazo tulipatiwa tukajaribu ili angalau isaidie lakini ilishindikana Previously, we were using nothing. They were just there. We were just used to them because we had nothing to control the mill. Yeah. The extension officers used to come to advise. He was just telling not to spread any chemicals because the chemicals are also harmful to us. Classical biological control is a method of managing pests whereby you get the natural enemies from another country to come and control a particular pest that has invaded that country. Classical biological control is very safe and it is very cost effective because once it establishes in the system, it is self-replicating. When you use insecta, you end up killing even the natural enemies that are important. In Kenya, we are using Acetophagus papae. This is a parastoid for management of papaya mealbug. Spraying is necessary in case of classical biological control because you must ensure that it's also clean and it's not happening other insects that may affect the natural enemy that you want to raise. Since these parasitoids came, once you visit the farm, also the farmer himself or herself, compared to that time, popos were dying, but currently, popos are really shining and they are green in color. We normally advise them to try ways of constructing the nephra. So that they can conserve these parasitoids for future use. And we also normally advise farmers, they plant more popos as the solution is already in this area. Now that I have this method, I'm now saving a lot. I used to take the papayas to the market, but now many people are coming here. My plan for the future is to grow more papayas. I want the, to fill this place with papayas. Na imani pia kama fundisho ya wanangu watakuwa ya meboreka na kwangu pia maisha yangu yatakuwa ya mebadilika yatakuwa sio yale ya kitambo ambayo nilikuwa nayo. The goals of Plant Rights Plus is to help the small scale farmer so that the small scale farmer can be able to reduce use of uh, high risk farm inputs. If you go at the cost, farmers are so happy because they are now able to sell their papaya and earn some income, something that they were not able to do before. And this is what Plant Rights Plus is all about. We need farmers who can produce to meet the demand of the population that's growing. If I get some control, I will expand my farm. I will be able to feed more people and also be able to get more profits on my side.